It started subtly, a hairline fracture in the Earth's crust. Initially, it was barely perceptible, a faint line etched into the dry, parched soil. But this was merely the prelude to a much larger event, one that would soon capture global attention. Then, almost overnight, it widened and snaked its way across Kenya's landscape. The crack seemed to possess a life of its own, moving with a silent, unstoppable force. It was as if the Earth itself was breathing, expanding and contracting, revealing the hidden tensions beneath the surface. In March 2018, the residents of Nairobi, Kenya's bustling capital, awoke to a sight that sent chills down their spines. A massive crack, several meters wide and kilometers long, had ripped through the Earth, splitting a busy highway in two. This crack was not just a physical disruption, it symbolized the fragility of the ground beneath our feet, a stark reminder that the Earth is constantly changing, often in ways we cannot predict or control. This was no ordinary crack, it was a stark reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet, a force capable of reshaping continents. The crack was a visible manifestation of the tectonic forces that have been at work for millions of years, slowly but surely altering the landscape of our planet. It was a reminder that the Earth is not a static entity, but a dynamic, ever-changing system. The gash, which appeared on Kenyon Road in a suburb of Nairobi, quickly became a sensation. People from all over the city came to see the crack, to witness firsthand the power of the Earth. The crack was not just a geological event, it was a social phenomenon, drawing people together in a shared sense of wonder and fear. Images of the gaping chasm, swallowing cars and disrupting daily life, flashed across news channels worldwide. The crack became a symbol of the unpredictability of nature, a reminder that despite all our technological advancements, we are still at the mercy of the Earth's forces. The images were a stark reminder of the power of nature, a power that can disrupt our lives in an instant. People gathered at the edge, a mix of fear and awe etched on their faces. They were drawn to the crack, unable to look away, fascinated by the raw power of the Earth. The crack was a reminder of our vulnerability, of the fact that we are just small beings living on a vast, dynamic planet. The Earth, it seemed, was unraveling before their very eyes. The crack was a visible sign of the forces at work beneath the surface, forces that are constantly shaping and reshaping the landscape. It was a reminder that the Earth is a living, breathing entity, constantly changing and evolving. This dramatic event on Kenyon Road was more than just a local disaster. It was a dramatic illustration of a much grander, slower-moving geological drama unfolding over millions of years, the rifting of the African continent. The crack was a visible sign of the tectonic forces that are slowly pulling the continent apart, creating new landscapes and altering the geography of the region. It provided a glimpse into the powerful tectonic forces that have shaped our planet for eons, forces that continue to reshape our world today. The crack was a reminder that the Earth is constantly changing, that the forces at work beneath the surface are always in motion, shaping and reshaping the landscape in ways that we can only begin to understand. It was a reminder of the power of nature, a power that is both awe-inspiring and humbling. To understand the events that unfolded on that fateful day in Nairobi, we must journey deep beneath the Earth's surface, into the realm of molten rock and tectonic plates. This journey takes us to the very foundation of our planet, where immense forces are constantly at work, shaping the world we live in. The story of rift formation is a tale of geological processes that have been unfolding for millions of years, driven by the dynamic nature of the Earth's interior. The Earth's crust is not a single, solid shell. Instead, it's broken into numerous pieces like a giant jigsaw puzzle. These pieces, known as tectonic plates, fit together in a complex mosaic that covers the entire surface of the planet. Each plate is in constant motion, floating atop the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath it. The interactions between these plates are responsible for many of the geological features and phenomena we observe on the Earth's surface. These pieces, known as tectonic plates, are in constant motion, driven by the immense heat emanating from the Earth's core. This heat causes convection currents in the mantle, which in turn drive the movement of the plates. The movement of tectonic plates is a slow but relentless process, occurring at rates of a few centimeters per year. Over millions of years, this movement can result in significant changes to the Earth's surface, including the formation of mountains, ocean basins, and rift valleys. The boundaries between these plates are dynamic zones where continents collide, mountains rise, and oceans are born. 
there are three main types of plate boundaries. Convergent, where plates move towards each other, Divergent, where plates move apart, and Transform, where plates slide past each other. Each type of boundary is associated with specific geological processes and features. For example, convergent boundaries are often marked by the presence of mountain ranges and volcanic arcs, while divergent boundaries are characterized by the formation of new oceanic crust and rift valleys. Rifting occurs when tectonic plates move apart or diverge. This process is most commonly observed at mid-ocean ridges where new oceanic crust is formed as magma rises from the mantle. However, rifting can also occur within continental plates, leading to the formation of rift valleys. These valleys are characterized by steep parallel walls in a central depression, which can eventually become filled with water to form a new ocean basin. This movement is driven by the upwelling of hot molten rock from the Earth's mantle. As the mantle material rises it begins to melt due to the decrease in pressure, forming magma. This magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, causing it to rise towards the surface. The upwelling of magma creates a zone of weakness in the overlying crust, which can lead to the formation of faults and fractures. As the molten rock rises, it exerts tremendous pressure on the overlying crust, causing it to stretch, thin, and eventually fracture. These fractures can propagate over large distances, creating extensive networks of faults. The process of rifting is often accompanied by volcanic activity, as magma erupts through the fractures to form new volcanic features. Over time, the continued movement of the plates can lead to the widening of the rift valley and the formation of new geological structures. These fractures, or faults, act as zones of weakness where the Earth's crust can rupture. Faults are essentially cracks in the Earth's crust along which movement has occurred. They can vary in size from small localized fractures to major fault systems that extend for hundreds of kilometers. The movement along faults can generate earthquakes which are a common feature of rift zones. The release of energy during an earthquake can cause significant ground shaking and surface rupture, leading to the formation of new geological features. When the pressure becomes too great, the crust gives way creating a rift valley. This process is often accompanied by the formation of grabbins, which are blocks of crust that have dropped down between parallel faults. The development of a rift valley is a complex process that involves the interplay of tectonic forces, volcanic activity, and erosion. Over time, the rift valley can evolve into a more mature geological feature, with the continued movement of the plates leading to the formation of new ocean basins and mountain ranges. This process is often accompanied by earthquakes and volcanic activity, as molten rock, or magma, erupts to the surface. The presence of magma in the crust can lead to the formation of volcanic features such as lava flows, cinder cones, and calderas. The interaction between tectonic forces and volcanic activity can create a dynamic and ever-changing landscape, with new geological features constantly being formed and modified. The Kenyan road crack was a stark reminder that the earth beneath our feet is far from static. This dramatic event highlighted the ongoing geological processes that shape our planet, reminding us of the immense forces at work beneath the surface. The formation of the crack was a result of the complex interplay between tectonic forces, volcanic activity, and the inherent weaknesses in the Earth's crust. It serves as a powerful reminder of the dynamic nature of our planet and the need to understand and respect the geological processes that shape our world. It is a dynamic, ever-changing system shaped by forces that operate on a time scale far grander than human comprehension. The study of rift formation and tectonic processes provides valuable insights into the history and evolution of our planet. By understanding these processes, we can better appreciate the complexity and beauty of the Earth's geological features. The science of rift formation is a testament to the power and majesty of the natural world, reminding us of the ever-present forces that continue to shape our planet.